Good day, peeps. How you going? Thank you so very much for joining me again for this update on um, getting AIDS off of gear. Um, it's been a while since the last update because a few things happened. I got injured um, and I got hospitalised and I was let out again and uh, things have settled. So I didn't want to talk about um, how everything was uh, mega painful and stupid and wrong because it wasn't really the fault of the uh, program per se. It was really just um, other things going on. Um, interestingly, when I did go to hospital, um, what happened is I got an infected toe. It, it swelled up to four times its size and it burst. Amazingly painful. Um, you know, it's incredible to think... Um, it's a very, very small part of your body, and it was uh, taking up most of the attention of the uh, of the body. It was incredible. Anywho, uh, this thing happened, um, and I went into hospital, and I said, you you need to fix this um, after going to the GP, and, and he said, you got to go to the hospital. And I went, oh, no, it'll be bad. And he said, no, no, you've got to do this. And um, I went in there, and, um, okay, I'm going to do you solid now. I'm going to tell you what happened, right? Um, but... I'm going to hold my hand up like this for the gross bit. Um, so just turn the volume down if you don't like body stuff. All right? Now, I've had 40 years gangrene, and you know what that's like, so I'm, I'm warning you now. Okay, so I went in there, and they basically had to stick a uh, scalpel under my toenail, uh, cut it, uh, dig it in, and scrape out the crusted up... Um, uh, infection and then squeeze all of the gathered pus out of my toenail and the hole that it had already made in my toe. That was amazingly painful. I was screaming the entire time because they buggered up the anaesthetic. Um, and because they buggered up the anaesthetic and it hurt a lot, basically, I said, oh, you know, I'm in a lot of pain. They said, well, yes, you should uh, have some pain relief. And they said, here you go. And they gave me some paracetamol. I'm going, yeah, no. And they said, yeah, yeah, because uh, effectively um, you're a junkie and uh, we don't want to give you anything for pain. I'm going, I've still got the pain though, so do you want to maybe figure it out? And so then they got the pain service in and uh, I said, you know, um, uh, and the pain service has been in and I said, I didn't see them. And they bloody cowardly bastards look, stood in the corridor and said, oh, yeah, no, don't give him anything, and ran away because they didn't want to get a mouthful from me. Cowardly bastards. Anywho, so um, the other thing that happened was that um, they buggered up the dose. Um, the uh, I went, I was supposed to go to the writing doctor that day, but I had to go to the hospital instead. And, the <laughs> and I rang up the writing doctor and said, look, I'm not there because I'm in hospital because my toes exploded. Um... I'm going to be either late or not there. Can we work something out? And they went, well, where are you? And I said, I'm in hospital. Oh, have you been admitted? Well, yeah. Have you been treated? No, I'm waiting to be treated. Well, okay. Well, how can you prove you're in hospital? And I said, I, I, I don't know that I can. I can tell you my, my hospital number. I can tell you, I can, you know, you can hear the sounds of the hospital. Oh, I, I, it's just the phone. Well, you've got to get someone from the hospital to ring up. And I went, um, or to come down here. No, they initially said to come down here and tell us you're in hospital. I'm going, they're not going to come down there. And so the the hospital folk were fine with it. And they said, yeah, 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 easy, easy. We'll, we'll ring them up. Anyway, so this woman basically rings up. And um, long story short, they think she's my mate and I've put her up to it and that I just was too lazy to come in. Anyway... She gets this impression and she gets really, really angry and then calls up lots and lots of people. Um, but what uh, made my day was this professional woman on the phone. Um, she does these calls 100 times a day. Um, and basically she's calling this, this doctor's surgery and uh, talking, talking, talking. And she's getting stiffer and angrier as the conversation's going on. Like stiffer and angrier and angrier. And then finally she puts down the phone and goes, Bitch! <laughs> and like let her let her have let herself have this one little syllable of angry and then she's picked up the phone and her fingers have done the maestro thing across the keyboard to um basically make the world move. So again, long story short, um after six hours everything sorted out. But I was crying at this point because I'd had uh no dose. I was uh, in a lot of pain. Now, they have changed the medication that I'm on. The one that I was on last time we updated was not working at all. And it was getting worse, um, but they changed it, uh, and it is now heading in the right direction. Um, the 
pharmacy that I'm with um, is lovely. Um, we know each other now and we're very friendly to one another. The writing doctors that I'm with, they're lovely. We know each other now and uh, we're uh, on very good terms. So things are heading in the right direction. Um, basically, I'm, I'm sticking with the program. The clock has stopped. Um, I'm not going off the program in two and a half months like I was threatening before. Um, basically, because it's it's uh, uh, it's on its way to working. Um, we're just going to buggerize around with the dose now and uh, see what happens. My chief fear is that we'll get it right, and then I'll turn around and say, "Right, oh, now time to reduce everything." And I go, "No, don't do that. That was rather the point." But anyway, we are. For all intents and purposes, we have not won. We are not out of the woods. Things are not exactly perfect yet, um, but we are finally turned the corner and we're starting to win more than we're losing. So basically, thanks very much for uh, joining us today. Um, things are getting better. They will improve, continue to get better. Now all I've got to do is stay alive long enough for it to uh, kick in. And we're laughing. Thanks a lot. See you later.